My name is Brett Williams and welcome to my ePortfolio, The House That Knowledge Built. This ePortfolio was assembled to fulfill the criteria for ETEC 590 and is a capstone project for the Master of Education program at UBC. The ePortfolio represents the learning, reflection and growth that occurred over the period of two and a half years and nine graduate level courses. The metaphor I have chosen to use for my ePortfolio is one that I feel is apt in describing how I've perceived my own growth as a student and professional over the past couple of years, in addition to an apt metaphor for the learning process itself. Building a home and designing a pedagogically sound curriculum require vision, thoughtful planning, and a solid foundation and frame before they can fully take shape. I organized my ePortfolio with the different stages of the home building process in mind beginning with the pre-construction and foundation phases through to the completion stage. Each phase of the building process has been attributed its own page, links to which can be found at the top of the home page. When you click on the page link, you will find a short summary of how the artifacts contained within each section relate to the stage of the construction of the home. By hovering over each page link, a drop-down menu will appear that contains links to the artifacts that, that pertain to that particular stage of construction. In the pre-construction phase, I take a moment to flesh out the blueprint of my ePortfolio's metaphor and reflect on how my experiences in the MET program have shaped the way I've come to view teaching and learning. Reading this section first will provide you with the rationale for my choice of metaphor and in the selection and organization of my artifacts. In the foundation stage, I examine the theoretical frameworks and influences that were reintroduced to me during the first few courses in the MET program that I consider to be the uh, foundation for my pedagogy and whose influences can be seen to resonate throughout the work featured in the rest of the ePortfolio. In the second stage of construction, framing, I've included artifacts from three different courses that illustrate how my understanding of these theoretical frameworks was beginning to take shape and manifest themselves through the projects and activities that, that were completed, and how my thinking about their applications to learning was beginning to evolve. In the third stage of construction, the interior and exterior work, I include artifacts that directly build on the structure and foundation provided by the foundation and frame. With the groundwork laid, my intent with these artifacts was to showcase what considerations should be taken in developing curricula that encourages active learning, collaboration, critical thinking, and technology at its core, and by doing so, provide the necessary means from which to realize a fully formed curriculum design. In the completion stage, my intent was to showcase artifacts that serve as fully formed expressions of the theoretical frameworks that guided their creation. Both artifacts are fully uh, developed course or unit designs that incorporate key concepts explored in the foundation stage that are explicitly bound to the aims and objectives of the units themselves. My reference section includes citations for works discussed directly in my re reflections on each of the artifacts, as well as citations for Creative Commons images that I've included in the ePortfolio. Finally, before a homeowner can be given the keys, the home must be inspected to ensure that it is up to code. Included on my final page is an assessment rubric designed to evaluate the effectiveness of my ePortfolio in meeting the aims and objectives of ETEC 590. Hopefully the virtual tour has given you some insight into the rationale, layout, and navigation of the ePortfolio. Thank you for watching and happy reading.